it's kind of amazing to me because I really thought we were going to do maybe 13 episodes and then never see it again. Um, and we were so passionate about it and we loved it so much. No, we really, really did. And I remember actually right before the show aired, we were still editing. And nobody really had seen it. We'd gotten virtually no feedback. We'd just finally sort of gotten, I think, an air date. Yeah. And I remember sitting and editing. It was probably like 2 in the morning. It was the two of us sitting there. And we looked at each other and sort of said, what do you think's going to happen? And you said, I, I really like the show. And I said, well, I really like the show. And if nobody watches it, I can put VHS tapes in the back of my car and give them out to people. Yeah. We debuted the show when we had VHS tapes. And there was no social media. There was no social media, no internet. We got fan mail through the mail. Like actual mail. Like on paper with writing. <laughs> it stamps. Was stamps. Yeah. So I think... It's amazing, first of all, because such a long amount of time has gone by. And I have to say personally, I can clock years by what season of Grey's Anatomy it was. You know, major events in my life. Mm -hmm. The people who love me are kind of offended because I well, that was the year of the shooter. Mm -hmm. And that was the season that Meredith and Derek sort of got married. Mm -hmm. And that post-it so note year. It, yeah. It sort of is, I think, been representative of a gigantic portion of both of our adult lives. It's true. And yet, I woke up this morning and thought, 300? Like, it feels like yesterday. It really does. Yeah. It feels a little bit like old Grey's and that mm -hmm. it's fun and it's funny and it's refreshing, and yet it still has that heart that Grey's has, don't you think? Yeah, and I think it's actually, it's a weird thing to say, but it's, a it's an amazing representative episode of Grey's Anatomy. It's Grey's Anatomy at its best in a yeah. lot of different ways. And that's the thing which I think I'm super proud of it as a 300th episode because I think it embraces all these different aspects of what Grey's is, both past, present, and also future. Yeah, sometimes you wonder, can we do, be fresh and new at 300, ep 300 episodes? And I think what's great is that we keep discovering, yeah, we can. What I think is really moving is so many different people from so many different walks of life and cultures all respond universally to the themes and the emotions and the characters and the situations in the show. And it's great to see, in a way, how much we all have in common. And I think that's one of the most, that's one of the largest things I'm really grateful for, is that somehow or another, this is a show that has managed to touch so many people in so many different walks of life, and it gives everybody this sort of common point of communication, which is really a privilege and really fun to watch. It's magical to me that something that started inside my head <laughs> that I feel is very personal to me most of the time resonates with a woman who told me that she watches it in India with her grandmother and her daughter. You know, that's amazing. And here, you know, we hear fathers say they watch it with their daughters because that's the way they bond. We hear women go to medical school because they wanted to be like Meredith and Christina. Those things feel profound to me, and I find that bigger than us. It doesn't really, it's, it's more about the impact of the show and the way the actors portray the characters and what that means in the zeitgeist. I think that happened later than other people might think. Um, I know a lot of people felt like they thought it happened in season two for them. It happened around season six. I was like, oh, I think we might keep going. That was really the first time I thought, wow, I don't have to worry about, like, keeping the lights on in my house. I was that person. I think, I think that's really accurate. And also, we never left work. So also, you have to kind of remember that I think it was a bigger deal before either of us clocked it, but because we were always in the office. We missed the outside we world. We missed the outside world, so... Every once in a while, there would be a strange encounter in an airport or something where I'd be wearing a T-shirt, not realizing I was an idiot to be wearing a T-shirt with my show on it. <laughs> and someone would stop and go, oh, my God. And I think those were, that's the closest we came to. Yeah, I'd be in the grocery store, and I'd hear somebody a couple of aisles over just quoting a line as part of their just normal conversation. And I'd think, well, that's odd. And it, that was pretty much it. Maybe in season 11 or 12, when I started going to the grocery store and 12-year-olds would come up to me and sort of follow me around, and I was like, what's happening? Our fans had given birth to fans, and that was insane. That's when I really thought, well, we got something here. The idea that our show is going to be something 
that grew to make young women want to be doctors or people of color see themselves in a different light, see themselves represented on television or somebody be able to diagnose themselves or just the power of realizing you're not alone because you see your disease on television. I don't think any of that occurred to me when we started. I really was just trying to tell stories about characters and women as I knew them. And the discovery that people were going to start to go to medical school, and I think the first time I heard about this was young women were telling me that they would stay up at the, you know, at the end of your medical school year, you get um, picked to go to a residency. And they started having these parties where they would stay up all night watching Grey's Anatomy while they waited for the residency information to come in. Like that was their, their wait to discover where they were going to go. And I thought, that's amazing. And then somebody said, well, you know, it's part of the reason why I went to medical school. Grey's Anatomy was so inspiring. And I thought the idea that a character like Christina and a character like Meredith, who were shown just loving their jobs and finding science exciting and saving lives exciting, made somebody want to do that themselves, that's powerful. And it didn't feel like it was powerful because I was writing it or we were doing it. It just felt like a powerful thing to know was possible just in terms of what media can do.